so here is how the apron started out in its original life. This is what it looked like. It was just this little canvas bag. When I saw the shape of it, it just reminded me of an apron. So I just went ahead and turned it into an apron. So this is how it started out. So when I flipped it over, it's just regular, you know, tan canvas on the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and iron it so it's nice and smooth. And then I've already put it around Evie's head and just marked off with a paper clip actually, where I'm gonna um, cut it and then, I'm not gonna sew it, I'm just gonna use some iron-on hem tape to adhere it to, you know, make the, the neck part a little bit shorter and I'm going to cut the bag completely in half so just the one solid side will be what is going to be her apron and then the other ribbon or the other you know handle that is not being used is going to be used for the ties on the side so it can tie around her back so that's where I'm at right now I'm going to cut the back off and I'm going to cut the neck and make it a little bit shorter and then I'm gonna make the side, the side ties. All right, so I've made most of my cuts. I cut off the whole back side of the apron and I just tried to iron it a little bit to get out some of the creases. I cut off the bottom as well. Now you can see it's basically has the shape of the apron already, which is why, you know, I when I saw the bag, it just initially, you know, right away, I thought it looked like an apron. So I just folded over these back um, corners just to, kind of gauge how I want the angle of the arms to be. So I think that is about right. I just kind of eyeballing it. It's not, it doesn't have to be like super perfect. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim off this piece here, this little triangular piece and throw that away. And then I will adhere the one edge to the, you know, to the edge, I guess. Um, and what I'm using to do all of these adherings is this stuff called heat and bond. And this is just, um, you know, iron. You just use a, a regular iron to kind of like melt this um, tape, I guess, onto whatever fabric surface you want. So basically, I'm going to just clean up all the edges and adhere the neck so it's all one continuous piece. And then add these straps to the side so they will, you know, tie around the back. All right, here it is all finished. Um, a couple of things have happened since I last talked to you. Basically, the hem tape that I was trying to use wasn't um, strong enough, and I think maybe because the package was open, maybe it kind of dried out a little bit because it wasn't very sticky when you ironed it. That's supposed to like make the adhesive start to work, and it wasn't working. It wasn't holding the fabric down, which is like super thin canvassy material, so. There's no reason that um, the tape shouldn't have worked to hold it down. So I just wound up using my glue gun, which worked out just fine. I just made sure to turn all the edges over, like roll them over, so there weren't any frayed edges from where I cut it. So you can see, like, I would roll it once, glue it, and then roll it again so it's nice and smooth and looks a little bit more you know, professional on, on the on the back side. Um, and yeah, the glue gun worked just fine. That's also how I attached all of this rickrack detailing that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was 50% off, so it was only a dollar for each roll. So the whole apron just cost me $2. I bought two rolls of rickrack that were a dollar each. But I still have more of the rickrack, so if I did want to do any other sort of project, I have more of it. So I had the initial idea to, you know, use the rickrack just to do the detailing around the top and the neck and the bottom. And initially I was going to try to use some felt and make a donut to put in the middle just to, oh you know, round out the donut theme for her birthday party. But I looked up online because I was thinking of different patterns for the rickrack. Um, so I looked up online a couple ideas for aprons and then I realized all aprons pretty much have a pocket. So I had to include a pocket, right? Oh, Evie's next to me. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So I just used a little bit of the extra fabric from, you know, the other side of the bag that didn't have any print on it and I made a little pocket. So I just cut out the shape of a pocket and again folded over the edge so it's nice and clean. And then I just hot glued it down and then hot glued more rickrack detailing around <laughs> around the pocket. What do you think, Evie? Is it so pretty? Do you love it? Do you want to try it on?
And yeah, do you want to try it on and show everyone how pretty you look? But yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. It cost me two bucks and it was very easy. I just had to cut the bag and um, hot glue all the edges and put a little trim on it. And I was going to buy one online and they were running anywhere from like 15, 20 bucks or more. So for two bucks, I'm very excited about it. And I don't know if I showed this, but I just hot glued the extra strap that was, you know, since it was a two-handled bag, I cut one of the straps off and just hot glued it on and just left the um, original, like, um, sewed, you know, detailing of how it was attached to the, as the bag part, um, if that made any sense. And I just hot glued the edges, rolled it over so it's a little bit cleaner, and now you just will tie it and it's somewhat adjustable um, as she gets bigger. And yeah, so you want to try it on? Yeah. Let's show everyone how pretty you look. So I also just wanted to show you the whole picture. This is the jet, the dress that she's most likely going to be wearing on her birthday party. And it's adorable as a little bow. And since her colors are like pink and aqua for this party, the apron just, it looks adorable with the dress. And she has little um, bloomers that are going to go under the dress. But it all looks so cute together. I love it. So now I got to put it on Evie and see how it fits. Oh yeah? See, it just ties in the back like that. Just tied a little knot. What do you have there? You want to bake some donuts? Evie, what are those? Is that a donut? <laughs> Good you. Ooh, does that taste good? Did you make that donut in your bakery? Do you like your new apron? Is it so pretty? What do you think of your apron? Look, what's this? What's on you? What's that? Look at you! Do you want to bake some donuts? Yeah, that you look so pretty? Do you like it? You are so cute. Alright, say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.